What is going on, everybody? This is Mike, the Caesar of Concessions. I want to talk to you today about equipment and products, and I am in one of my concession stands now. This is one of our, our biggest, and uh, I just want to show you some things. I hear a lot about people saying you need really expensive equipment um, and this and that, and I want to show you some products, too, that we sell. Okay, so let's start off with equipment here, and this is always a big one. This is our shaved ice machine. We have many, many of these. This is our Viva machine. Okay. That thing was $200. We do insane volume here on shaved ice. That thing works incredibly well. You do not need expensive equipment, right? to do really good business. Let me show you something else. We do a lot of pretzels, right? What do we have here? Regular microwaves, nothing special. Now, how do we keep our burgers and everything warm? See this? That's an old pizza rack, got it used. I think we paid a hundred bucks for it. It's been with us for about five years. This popcorn machine, we bought used. I don't know, 10 years ago, still with us, still rocks it, okay? You can use inexpensive equipment and have a wonderful business. Do not let anyone tell you any different. How do we keep our burgers, our hot dogs and, and stuff warm? Turkey roasters. Yeah, I mean, those are warmers, but they're essentially turkey roasters that you could buy at Walmart. Really, honestly. Now, when we do our pulled pork and stuff like that, I'm gonna show you this. Look at this. Three compartment crock pot. See some of our coffee pots? Let me show you this. We do a lot of coffee. Normal coffee pots, right? You do not need, guys, again, expensive equipment. Now, let me show you some cool products that we serve and I've talked about from time to time. Now, most of these have been sold out, but we have a few little things here I can show you. We killed it with these, these bubble tea drinks. Absolutely crushed it this past weekend with these. I think we bought 50 cases, and I'm down to seven. Okay, we always sell out of grapes and string cheese in a cup. Look. String cheese, and we put grapes, you know, they're in a bunch, and we cut them, and then we just drop them in the bunch inside a 16-ounce clear cup. We call it wine and cheese, but it it sells incredibly well. Here's the uh, snow cone syrup we've been using this year. Two flavors. That's all we're running right now on snow cones. No use for us anyway to have multiple, multiple flavors. It works well with just two flavors. Okay. Let me see. You see this thing? Look at this. That Otis Spunkmeyer oven, we got 50 of them for free. All we had to do for a season was sell their cookies that, and buy their cookies. They didn't sell very well. We don't sell them any longer, but we have these ovens that we can cook all kinds of stuff in. Show you a product I'll be making a video on soon. Give you a little sneak peek here. Look at these cinnamon rolls, these mini cinnamon rolls. Uh, we sold a ton of them. Here's the pulled pork we use. Let me get it. We do our pulled pork nachos and pulled pork sandwiches. That's the pulled pork that we use. Show you some other products. 
or is that people ask me all the time, Mike, what kind of products do you use? Now, where do you get them? Most of these are from Sam's Club. There's our hamburgers. Okay. I don't, I can't get back there to the refrigerator because they're grills in a way. Here's our soda selection. We sell those bottles for $3. We're getting more this week. We got to fill these coolers up. There's our candy, our chips, and then one of my favorite products, of course. Pre-packaged cotton candy sells extremely well, guys. And it's pre-packaged. I don't have to put any labor into it. I don't have to spin it. Nothing. Let's see, boy, we are pretty much wiped out here. We had such an amazing weekend. What we use to keep our iPads on, that we run our... I think I just broke it. That we run our squares out of. I'm going to put it back up here. Oh, I didn't break it. I'm just going to leave it there. Pretend like I didn't do it. I'll tell the boss, my wife, that must have been somebody else. Um, yeah. Okay. We also got these from Moto Spunk Byron. We put our muffins and cinnamon rolls and stuff like that in them. Um, so we got all this stuff, either really cheap, free, whatever you want to call it. Here's our A-frame sign. We'll put our specials on that A-frame and stick it out in front of the concession windows. Um, guys, I highly recommend that when you're looking for equipment, look for used stuff and look for inexpensive equipment that you can get your return on investment paid off like quick, right? I mean, we, we could have furnished all these stands with really expensive equipment, but how long would that take me to get my initial investment paid off a lot right a lot so we bargain shop and we buy used equipment or inexpensive equipment and we run it through a test and guys let me just say this if, a, if this equipment can withstand the volume that we do here and i don't want to i don't want to talk numbers right but i'm just going to say insane volume and if this equipment can withstand years of insane volume, it will work for you guys too, I'm telling you. So don't be afraid to buy inexpensive equipment. Keep your initial investment low. And if you wanna buy expensive equipment, well just through time, save money, build up, and then you can buy your expensive equipment. I hope this video helped someone. This is Mike, the Caesar Concessions, out.